Hey everyone, and thank you for watching my channel. This is Woman Walking Away. I want to talk about power. We have seen a huge uptick in the amount of men being accused of sexual assault, rape, harassment, abuse, and, and many of these men are in uh, major positions of power in our society. Something that you'll always see with men in positions of power is the exploitation of women. This is something that is extraordinarily common for men who have any degree of power um, and with the capitalist society obviously power is equated with money. But that's not the only manner of, um, of power that leads to this exploitation. We're seeing this more and more as women are finding their voices and are able to come forward and as we're experiencing you know, stronger solidarity with sisters, um, using our voices to make these accusations um, and being supported by other women so that they can also come forward. And this is going to keep happening. Men are going to continue to abuse the power that they seek and women are going to continue to try everything in their power to, to stop this. Um, but this is inherent in power for men. So this is the problem, right? This is not an accident. Men don't just get to these massive positions of power like um, CEOs, presidents, uh, religious leaders, uh, owners of major corporations or movie studios, etc. This is, they don't just get to these positions of power and then they're like, wow, look at all this power I have. Let's, um, let's, let's abuse women. The power is the point. They are attracted to the power in order to exploit women. This is ex the exploitation of women, the abuse of women is not a, a bonus byproduct of power. It's the point. Men have created a patriarchy to stay in charge, to have power, to use it to exploit women. It's the whole system. They have built it into their systems that there will always be vulnerable women present, right? There will always be hungry female actors. There will always be impressionable fans. There will always be beauty pageant contestants who, uh, who want to win or who just want to uh, not be harmed or who are familiar with being obedient, right? They, when you have men in power, you always have women without power. This is built into the system, it's how it runs, it's the point. The power is the point. Without access to women, men would not seek these positions of power in the same degree that they do right now. Money buys access to many things in our world, but the primary thing that men who seek positions of power want is access to female bodies. Every single industry supports predatory men. Every single industry has men of power on top and women without power below. That is the hierarchy that's set up and maintained. That's the strategic purpose for men seeking power. This is the way the system is built. It's not an accident. It's not, um, like I said, it's not just a bonus. This is why it happens. This is why we have imbalances of power and power dynamics. It's so that men can use their power to exploit women. And men can just use money. Men use money all the time to buy access to women's bodies, to buy consent um, from women who are prostituted. So it's about more than just money. This is why I say capitalism is a necessary byproduct of patriarchy. The two are inextricably linked, but patriarchy introduced capitalism to maintain power. So they can't just do it by a sheer force of strength anymore. They needed a system in place that where exploitation was inherent or they could use that, um, use that imbalance to continue to keep women oppressed. So capitalism is a tool of patriarchy to continue um, keeping men on top. And on top of sexual access, the freedom from responsibility 
comes with power. And those are the two things that you really don't want to go hand in hand when you have someone, uh, someone predatory in a huge position of power. You don't want them to not only be able to uh, exploit women and abuse women, but also not have to deal with any of the consequences of that abuse. So not only do you have systems and industries where there is uh, intimate and consistent access to vulnerable women, but you have built into this structure the freedom from responsibility for any of your actions. So the women uh, that you abused are not likely to be believed. They're not likely to say anything in the first place, even if they were to be believed, because the repercussions from using your voice to speak out against men who have this much power is huge. The backlash is huge. It is destructive to your career, to your life, to your family members. It is not a small thing. Um, your community will disappear when you use your voice to make accusations against powerful men. And this is changing, and this is why I felt uh, compelled to make this video, because I do think, you know, that we are coming to a place where you can no longer keep women silent, because we are supporting each other, we are upholding each other's voices, we finally have enough of our own power to get these stories into the media, to, um, to not be in so much fear all the time, and, to, and for our voices to be so important in, in, for example, in an industry like Hollywood, that, that women who have experienced these abuses are powerful enough in and of themselves that their voices will be heard. This is a new thing. Women can't be silenced the same way that we were before. So what I need to see happen is the conversation where it becomes so obvious that men who seek positions of power are seeking it in order to ex exploit women, that we can't deny it anymore. We have to make it connected in our minds that men who want power want to abuse women. Because the power is the point. There's no other point to seeking that much power other than to have an ability to exploit people. That's what power buys you. That's what money buys you. So capitalism is a male violence problem. That isn't to say that women don't benefit from it, certainly, but the root of it comes from the male drive to exploit women for access to sexual labor and access to reproductive labor. Those are the two points of patriarchy, those are the cornerstones. So now we, now we sort of have this cultural idea that people who want to um, be heads of C be CEOs and heads of companies and be um, you know religious leaders again like I was saying and, and presidents that this is an admirable uh, career trajectory and I'm trying to make the point that these are actually predator trajectories that men who seek these I would say I would say the vast majority to the point of the outliers being negligible. Um, are doing it to put themselves in a position where they have power over women. We know that people in positions of power are frequently, especially when it comes to financial power like as CEOs, that they are psychopaths. Like that's that's connected. And then obviously like the potential for abuse with a person like that in power is magnified. But even men who don't have, you know, all of these diagnoses that we're trying to trying to throw around to almost excuse male violence behavior, male pattern violence, because this is habitual, this is a pattern, this is structural, it's on purpose. But even without those diagnoses, men seeking positions of power, we need to make it so known that they're doing this in order to have a position from which to exploit and cause harm. This is not a positive thing, it's actually a negative thing. If someone says to you, you know, if some 28-year-old white dude says to you that he wants to be a, be a CEO, my first thought, and I want for socially this to be true, our first thought should be, this person wants so much power that they can hurt women. Because it is so commonly connected that, that it's nothing other than the point. It has to be the point. That's how common it is. We're seeing it in every industry. We're going to continue to see it unless we make it culturally abhorrent to seek power like that. And, and
and destroy the concept of power in the first place too, right? Like, there's no need for one person to hold that much decision-making power over that many people's lives. And when the structure is such that this is the man making these decisions about women's lives, we, it's time to shut it down. Like, we're, we have to be done with this by now because we are continually sending women into lion's den after lion's den. And this is causing the, a massive cultural trauma for women that has been going on for millennia. We need to break down this, this power dynamic, get to the root of what these problems are, which is male violence, and stop men from seeking or, or being able to arrive at positions of power that are causing so much harm. We are in a place where all we're doing is damage control. All we're doing is trying to hold each other's hands and trying to heal each other from all of these wounds that have been caused to us by male violence and by, by social violence like capitalism and racism. We are not moving forward the way we could be if we weren't so fucking traumatized. So it's time to stop recovering and start revolting. Thank you for watching this video today. I'm Woman Walking Away. Um, I still intend to have a radical feminist literature giveaway when I hit 500 subscribers, so it would be really awesome if you felt uh, like subscribing was something you wanted to do. Otherwise, a thumbs up goes a long way. I'd love to have uh, conversations in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.